guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we have the new stages added um, to the story events right here. This is where we're going to get to the free LR, the free-to-play LR that does indeed have a standby skill. And it is indeed just straight up an LR Bobbity. So here's the stage that gives us the extra medals. This, of course, is going to awaken um, Bobbity from TUR to LR. And, I mean, this one actually is... I mean, we could say we have three LR Bobbities, and it's like, man, it really is. Like, it's like, it's not even a meme. It, We literally have three LR Bobbities, man. We really do. It, it is crazy. I mean, all three of them are free to play, but it is still insane. Um, and then, of course, LR Bobbity has a standby skill to swap into Majin Vegeta. Um, I think the animations and voice acting and stuff like that is fantastic. Of course, uh, Worldwide Chaos is the category that will give us the extra drop rates. Um, and again, like I was saying, man, if we jump over here, it, it's legit. It, it, Bobbity, LR, Bobbity and Deborah, LR, Bobbity and Fat Boo, LR. Like, it's uh, for real, for real. We, we got three Bobbity LRs. Uh, now, this character is almost assuredly going to easy in part three. Um, so we'll see how impressive it's going to be. Um, this is a character you do want to grind up, though, the support and potential ability. And then, hopefully, I think one of the most important things for this unit is this guy's got to get way better defensively. And his damage has to go up and stuff like that. But, they, I mean, they could easily just upgrade this. As far as I understand, I think this might not be able to be upgraded. I, I know the, the standby skill itself cannot be changed. It cannot be changed in the easy A. But it's only turn four in this, right? Like, this part can't be changed. But I know for the EZA, they could just bump this up to, like, 350% or something like that pretty easily, right? His passive can be changed. Um, and I don't think that there's any real other info we have to go over, right? Again, it's Worldwide Chaos. Um, and there's nothing super, like, notable in here. Um, I believe it is going to be quite the grind um, for this Bobbity, though. Again, I think it's a pretty enticing LR, so it shouldn't be really that big of a deal. Uh, but I believe typically these LRs need 50 medals, right? It is how this usually works. So I think we're going to need to grind up um, 50 medals from this stage. And it is this stage right here, stage 5. Uh, this is the stage where we're going to be getting the drop rates. So uh, let, let's go and see what stage this is. This is the fight against, it's against Buhan. Okay. So there's uh, Buhan. Oh, okay. The Goku art right there. And then Vegito, dude, please. I, Why? Why are they starving us of Vegito? Vegito is like the most money character. It, it's Vegito and Gogeta, right? Like those are the huge money characters, man. They they gotta. They they have got to give us new Vegitos. Um, I I don't know. I if if part two out of nowhere standalone LR Carnival Super Gogeta and standalone LR Carnival Super Vegito. I'm sorry, I'm not complaining. I, I think that would be a massive monster W if that was the case. Uh, okay, so th again, th this is going to be the stage that I'm going to be grinding to hell right here. It, it is this exact stage right here. Um, again, I believe we need we're going to need 50 medals. Yep, that's the iconic art right there. See, the thing is, as Dokkan goes on longer and longer and longer, right? Like, we just get, like, better art all over. Oh, I've got the intros on. I don't even have the game audio on right here. The, 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 damn it. The, typically, I would. Well, whatever. Right? We're gonna, we're gonna just let it go. God damn it! This is why you know it is cool when you know we got a power. Yeah, it's awesome. Yahoo! Uh, but me as a content creator, it's not really so awesome, right? So, it is what it is, man. Okay, okay. Let me please get the intros turned off asap, brother. Let's get them bad boys off. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We gotta get them off. Um. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's fantastic until, uh, you know, them copyright claims come in. I'm good! <laughs> I'm good on the copyright claims, man. We're all good on that. So, yeah. We'll, we'll get these intros off. So, let me see. How, how many medals is Buhan going to drop right here? Oh. Oh, that's not bad at all. What was that? Nine? He dropped nine medals? Okay, sure. So, it, it doesn't seem like it's going to take way too long to get that done. That Vegito SSR art still does look so raw, man. Um, really, really good art. By the way, Buhan is a character. This is one of the most, like, needed characters right now is Buhan, for sure. Uh, the fact that we just don't have, like, a new Buhan 
Okay, okay. Remember how I sh just showed you guys the three LR Bobbities? Why don't we just go ahead and take a look at what Buhan has gotten, right? Um, I, I actually might have gone over this, I think, uh, it, when I did the, the these sages uh, earlier. Oh, uh, wait, real fast, real fast, real fast. Let, let me just let me just quickly double check this. So it is 50. It is 50, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's always 50 for those. That, that, that's like uh, uh, the common number for these free-to-play LRs. Um, we'll see how good this unit is going to be. Gohan, Goten, and Trunks sucked. This uh, character, this Bobbity to me, seems to have a lot of potential, though. I, I, I do think that this character actually could be quite a bit better um, than the, the Part 2 unit from last year. Again, the Part 2 unit from last year was uh, sickening, not really too good. Oh, okay. So that is uh, Vegito's 18 key, right? That's when he's rushing to punch. That does look pretty good, though, right? And then that's where, yeah, the, the stupid, you know, meme of Dragon Ball Super. Oh, I let down my barrier. Now we, you know, now we defuse. But then we find out in Dragon Ball Super that Vegito just conveniently defused the second he lets down his barrier. I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, are, are we going to say that perhaps... The barrier kept them from defusing, maybe? And the second he, he undoes the barrier, they defuse? Maybe, sure. But, <coughs> dude, it literally is like... Uh, dude, imagine they're floating there as Vegito, like, you know, long-dicking him. And they, they do that for one more second longer, and they split up into Goku and Vegito. Like, how stupid do they feel? Oh, here we go. Dude, they went all out with this event. What the hell? Yeah, here's where Goku's like, oh, by the way! I could have beat Fat Boo in Super Saiyan 3, but I didn't. Sorry, all my loved ones, you're now all dead. <laughs> but I wanted uh, the kids to do it. I mean, to be fair, Goku does have decent logic, I would argue, ab about like why he didn't take down Fat Boo. And especially because um, he felt like there was a good plan. He, he thought that Goten and Trunks fusing was a super legitimate plan to take down Majin Buu. So he's like, all right, I, I don't even need to finish Buu off um, uh, right now, right? But remember, he doesn't find out about Gohan being alive until after he fights Buu, in which he could have already won. Because, like, they had an even better, you know, chance once, you know, Goku goes back to Otherworld, and then it's like, oh, Gohan is up here chilling, getting stronger anyway. And then, of course, Old Kai comes out, and then, you know, we get Ultimate Gohan, who's the beast. Still such a shame Ultimate Gohan doesn't, I, it would it would have been pretty sick if Gohan had finished, you know, saved the day as Ultimate Gohan. Oh, Genki Dama. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Wow. We moved through this pretty fast. No Hercule. No, no Fat Boo. No nothing. We just, yep, straight to the Spirit Bomb. Bye, Kid Boo. This is another one of those moments that's like, oh my god, we need this representation. And now finally we got it. Anniversary level. I, 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 I always felt like this this was anniversary level to me. I mean, this is so iconic, Goku finishing this off. And it's gonna it's gonna lead into the uh the tenth anniversary super Oh, cool. Yeah, dude, they're put look at all the effort. Oh my god. Look at this. Man, it's just like the it's just like the anime. <laughs> oh, into that art. Wait, doesn't that can that Goku still easy, eh? I think they could still easy a him, right? Maybe we will see him easy a during the uh, anniversary here. Let me actually look that up. I, I still want to show you guys the fact that we've had no Buhans. But that Goku, yeah, has not easy a yet. Number one Vegeta should easy a during this celebration, too. Um, I, I am always saying this. I think you grade the quality of major celebrations oftentimes by easy a's. Um, so right now we have two easy a's. Easy, easy a STR Super Boo. And then what was the other one? Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, Physical Vegito, who's, uh, super good. Everyone loves Physical Vegito. He's, uh, beloved, beloved EZA character. <laughs> beloved EZA character. For sure, for sure, for sure. Alright, so there's that stage. So we got one more stage to do, and this is gonna be Oob. Now, before we jump into that real fast again, so, Buhan, who, you know, has enough animations to sustain another three LRs, right? You know, we got this guy back in 2016, and then they've never dropped another standalone Buhan since. This guy's 2018, this guy's 2020. This is a free-to-play character that came out along with this Buhan, so very, very sad. And then this Goku right here, we could easily get an EZA for him, which I think could be pretty intriguing. Remember, his SSR came out, I believe, during the first anniversary, 
indeed. Yeah, this is a first anniversary character right here. So that would kind of tie the knot very nicely, right? First anniversary character, um, and then he goes ahead and easy is during the eighth anniversary, Spirit Bomb anniversary. That would, dude, to, uh, Dokkan, hire me, man. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'd make y'all too much money, man. All right, let's go. Final stage right here. Um, I think uh, we'll go ahead and do this final stage against Oob. Um, and then I'll probably come... Yeah, we just got these two added into the game as the World Tournament reward cards. That's good. This Vegeta... This Vegeta should be uh, the next World Tournament reward. I I'm so annoyed that they made Champa the last World Tournament reward. It, it actually just makes no sense because no one cares about Champa. And it's a character we've already had a million of. I, I think that's the proper way to do this is making the World Tournament reward characters these characters that had like unique outfits at certain points right like again think of the gohan from the filler during the cell games i thought that that's a perfect world turn reward card or you know kid goku um with, with this snow outfit on from the red urban army saga i i do think that the the kid gohan in like goku's outfit from the saiyan saga though that to me could be a dokkan fest that could be like a great gohan dokkan fest i feel like is what that could be but um yeah uh, that, that's uh, they should make that Vegeta since they did that Trunks and Goten uh, World Tournament reward cards. They should do it for Vegeta. By the way, Oob is another character that needs a Dokkan Fest. Crazy how much there still is for Dokkan to do, right? We have so many characters who I think could still sustain, you know, Dokkan Fest and LRs. And then of course the big meme of LR Kid Buu, which may end finally during this anniversary. Maybe I would advise people to not go too crazy with. It's finally done. Kid Boo is coming, because you never know. You never know. Very, very easily, I think it could be just... Oh! You know, it's... I don't know. Uh, Tournament of Power. UI Goku and Jiren or something. Just insanity, right? Like, it could happen, dude. You know, don't file it away so quick that Omega and Kid Boo are part 2 LR. So we'll see what's going to actually happen. Um, and then here we go. Goku and Oob leaving right here. I would like to see, like, an LR of this guy. All we have from this Goku, I think it's just that free-to-play world tournament card, right? I think so. Um, the Awakening of, like, that Goku doing the thumbs up, his Awakening. Like, that's it. So, you know, one day he could be a powerful unit. Or, like, the, the Goku that returns at the end of GT, the same thing. Although, the Goku that returns at the end of GT, he, of course, does not fight, right? Uh, whereas the Goku... Um, at the end of Dragon Ball Z here, he does, you know, at least fight with Oob. And then here's where they're going to go train. And then we do see the results of this in uh, GT. Oob at least does, you know, do some stuff during GT a little bit. I guess... I guess he probably should have done more, but whatever. <laughs> you know, I, I listen, Oob, I, Oob has been pretty disrespected. To be fair, Dragon Ball Super did not forget about Oob, man. Moral arc. Come on. That scene... The oob scene in the moral arc is money, money, money. 10th anniversary time, dude, I'm telling you. Giant UI Goku. Oob in the standby or active or something like that. Come on, bruh. Dude, I, they're printing. Dokkan, hire me. We're printing money, I promise. Um, okay, so there's all the stages. What do we got for the missions? Sure, let's go and uh, get this. Uh, we'll, we'll get all the missions done and we'll awaken um, Bobby and stuff like that. Uh, I'll come right back. Let me just grind up the um, 50 medals and we'll awaken Bobbity and we'll get him the SA-20 and we'll complete all the missions and stuff. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and Dokkan awaken Bobbity into his new LR state. Again, the 50 medals. It doesn't really take that long. It's like, I feel like a lot of these grinds felt a little bit more annoying back when there was an auto. I, I just feel like with auto, like none of this matters. Like, I see people come, oh my god, another Prime Battle LR. It's like, bro, it, you know, you press one button, you do the stage instant. Like, it's not an issue at all. I, I'm sorry. Like, these, they just go by so, so fast. Um, I just don't have any issue whatsoever. Um, okay, so I do want to get all the missions done as well. So we do now have the LR Bobbity, which is fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and feed uh, into Bobbity the 10 Elder Kai's. Um, if you think I'm grinding up two of these to do it free to play, uh, no, not around here. We are a whale, brother. <laughs> We're a whale, and that's how we doing it. Yes, sir. Give me that. All right, so we got SA-20 fully leveled up and stuff like that. Um, I will have to re-link level, of course. Um, he's got legendary power. 
And then the standby Vegeta does have several extra links as well. Still five extra links. This is a great link leveling character because he has, um, what, seven links? Um, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This character has eleven links right here. So that's great for link leveling. The LR, the TUR, and the SSR. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. We got the, uh... Bobbity slash Majin Vegeta. I'll probably wait to put equips on until we see the EZA as well. Let's just finish up with the missions and we are done. So uh, let me know what you guys think about the LR, you know, Bobbity, uh, you know, kind of like standby skill with Majin Vegeta and Fat Boo. Um, I think it's a pretty good design for a character, um, for, for a free to play character. I like it. I know a lot of people are upset because. Everyone is, like, huge, like, Majin Vegeta stands, and I saw so many people like, I can't believe this moment is free to play, but, I mean, yeah, Majin Vegeta's cool, but I'm sorry, I'm not Mr. Like, oh my god, Majin Vegeta, like, I'll, it's, whatever, like, bruh, last, get, guess what, Majin Vegeta is gonna get more summonable units, like, it's gonna happen, it's, it's not a big deal, uh, there's, oh my god, like, all of our orbs back, yeah, y y you're able to rainbow him beyond for we in total from mission rewards from this event we've gotten more int orbs than it takes to even rainbow him M remember the reason for this um is because they want you to rainbow him uh to get all of your uh like 77 tickets right there to get all those tickets for the multi uh that's the reason why so okay we got all the missions done we got lr bobbity all done um, I will get him link leveled and prepare for the EZA, which should be coming in part three. Let me know what you guys think of this LR and, of course, of the Majin Vegeta standby. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.